got the worst throat pain. I can see. Oh, fuck. I can get the um, scabs are starting to come down. It feels so weird, guys. I had to like hurry up and take some of the time on now because it's painful. It's the only reason why I'm able to like vocalize right now. I know it hurts so bad. Oh my god. I hope this is the last of it. Seriously. Ow. Guys, I am so hungry. I could not deal with this fucking applesauce bullshit no more. So I ordered John and Vinny's. And what I've realized is this side is the one that's like trapping food the most. And when it traps food and shit, it just sends this like ringing pain to my ear. So my new solution, I look fucking crazy. My new solution is eating with my head tilted to the side. And swallowing that way. Because this way... Period. Like, that is not it. It's not it. I'm so tired of this. And like, maybe if I wasn't such a super proactive person, it wouldn't matter as much. Like I would be cool with just having a few days off, but I am not that type of person. I like cannot take days upon days like this. This is why they say it's easier for kids to recover because kids, they don't wanna do shit, they ain't gotta do shit. They don't gotta work, they ain't got no responsibilities. They just gotta sit on the couch and eat popsicles all damn day. Right now I'm trying two different pastas. <laughs> trying to see which one. Mm -hmm. The other one goes down better. And I know Biggie has to go take a shit, but I'm sorry, it's just not gonna happen tonight. Find a place in the house, do your business. I'm sick of this shit, I can't. Something else. Just cut, cut the tape, cut the tape. Today is not as bad as yesterday. I just did some Tylenol, so I'm like more relaxed in my throat. Stop taking the codeine because, well, as of last night, I'm getting crazy nightmares. Like crazy, very vivid. Not worth it. So I switched to Tylenol. Coated tablets, 500 milligram. Taking two of these every four hours. Yeah, just had two cups of applesauce and this, and it's breakfast. Let's see what these tonsils are looking like. I'm trying to get my lashes done today so I can feel like a fucking human being. I'm just like a miserable bitch. I feel like I'm like literally four pounds. It just feels like I'm like withering away on a deserted island. That is my bed. This morning I woke up at like 5.30 or something. Um, Cause I've only been sleeping in like three hour increments and then waking up. I, I don't know if it helped, but I went and I took this cloth and wet it and put it around my neck and fell right back asleep. So I think it helped. I don't know the pain, but it was comforting. Check in with you guys later. Bye. I hate you. You. And myself. And you. It's Saturday. And the scar has gone down a lot. 
seems like, right? Hopefully. I'm so sick of this shit, you guys. We have our post op appointment with Dr. Sagari on Monday, so let's hope that everything is clear because I have to travel on Thursday. Sorry, we're spitting every five seconds. That's just what we're doing now. I've come to terms with it. And I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of this shit. If I see another cup of noodles, I might die. So. I'm ready to be done. cheese off. You have to eat it. <laughs> Stop. What are you going to get Cheeto to swallow this for? Why don't you just swallow it up like a normal dog? Today is a big deal because today I felt a little bit better about myself and decided to put on jeans. Sweatpants and leggings for nine days. I finally it's like I'm gonna wear jeans. It's crazy because these jeans fit pretty tight before and now they're extremely loose. It's from the malnutrition. Throat still hurts. I just took two Advil. Um, what it really feels like right now is like lockjaw. And honestly, the mornings are worse because you spend so much time, like, I guess not moistening your mouth at night. Like, I keep going like that. But what's weird is I can go like that, but I can't yawn. Yawning is, like, the ugliest thing. I'm going to include a clip so you can see what it looks like when I yawn. You get fated by a boy. It's the worst. It feels like the worst of this is over for the most part. The scabbing I can still feel and what it feels like is on a regular basis when I'm not swallowing it feels like almost like a ball of hair or something like stuck in the back of my throat but then when I swallow it feels like it feels like a, a hurtful ball of hair. And then when it's dry back there, it almost feels like somebody took two pieces of duct tape, stuck them to the back of my throat, and are like peeling it down, but like not doing a good job at it. Or like having two fingernails like in the back of your throat like this, just like carving into it. And that pain goes from my ear, down my jawline, across my neck to my other ear. So needless to say, it's not a good experience. I'm gonna get some pasta today, maybe some gnocchi. Live my best life and actually see friends today. So yeah, we'll recap tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna see Dr. Sagari for my post-op checkup. Oh, I will also say yesterday I went to the hair salon. Sorry, I had to spit. Because like, as crazy as it seems, like, it's a lot. It feels really depressing being in the house for that long. I've watched every single show. I'm one season two of Game of Thrones, like, come on. We've we got to get out there, you know? So, yesterday I went to the hair salon, and it hurt to talk at first, but I realized the more that I talked, it was better. Like, my jaw loosened up a little bit more. It felt like the scabs have healed a lot more since... Since then, I encourage anybody who's going through this to like make attempts to do normal things like talking, even though it hurts, it honestly is better in the long run. Hey guys, if you can't notice the difference in me, honey, it's not just the hair and the fact that I put on foundation today. I can speak with my whole mouth. This is a huge development in our case because I felt like I was talking like this, like I had like locked jaw for the longest time and today I can actually talk with my whole mouth. I'm trying not to overdo it. It feels good to be able to like 
use my mouth to talk. I am in Marina Del Rey. I just left my post-op appointment with Dr. Sigari and he said that everything looks amazing and that makes me really really happy because I have been trying my best to you know heal properly and do everything that I can to like speed up this process because it is Monday and I am traveling to London and Rwanda at the end of this week. I definitely wanted to be better before I get on a 500 year long plane ride and he said that we are right on track right on schedule and looking really really good so what we did was he looked at the back of my throat he said that um the whiteness which i don't know if you can even see it anymore it's like so faint now it's so much better the whiteness that you see he said will go away by the end of this week which is super exciting because it's irritating and it feels like hairballs like i said um and it looks like cheese curds it's just like not a cute look you know who's looking at the back of my throat anyway nobody but it's just irritating and it causes pain when i eat see it like it's still you know when i swallow and like when i talk too much it still feels like weird so i still have to gargle every once in a while to like feel some relief yeah um tip for this keep your mouth wet like keep the keep the back of your throat moisturized as much as possible with water and fluids um he said that where the big holes are where my tonsils used to be that look like big gaping caves basically because my tonsils were huge those holes will go down and everything will shrink and it will look like a normal throat then we went and took a look at my nose he said that the nose looks amazing um, he said that there is still a little bit of swelling on this side in particular, and that will also go down soon. He said that my breathing will only get better. We cut out a few of the sutures that were in my nose. There's still some left, but we like trimmed some down so that they wouldn't irritate, you know, the other sides of my nostril and um, cut some completely out, which was like, I mean, there was no pain in that, like, on a scale of one to 10, it's probably like a 0 0.005. Like it was just a little uncomfortable, but you know, not bad. So yeah, now my nose is like free and clear of sutures. Um, for the most part, at least like visible ones that I can see and feel. So that is awesome because they were kind of getting on my nerves because they look like boogers. Like when I look inside of my nose, nobody could see them from the outside, but when I looked inside of my nose, they look like boogers and, but they weren't boogers and I couldn't like get them out and it was like, whatever anyway this is probably going to be my last update about you know like the days after the tonsillectomy i think this is a good place to end and then i guess maybe in a month or so we'll do another recap to see where i'm at yeah we fucking made it watched all of euphoria all of big little lies still have one episode of the bachelorette to catch up on started game of thrones already got to season two I mean, I watch everything on Netflix when they see us, like, I'm all caught up. So, pop culture-wise, like, we are good. Today's, like, my first day fully dressed and, like, ready to actually do shit, answer emails, catch up. Oh, one more thing. I don't know if it's something, I mean, I, like, barely ate anything last night, so I don't know if it's, like, the irritation or what but like at night sometimes the indigestion is like no bueno i don't know if it's like related but it was like really bothering me last night and i was like i wonder if other people go through this the only things that i feel like i i wasn't prepared for this journey was the ear pain and maybe the indigestion and like what it was gonna feel like but nothing can prepare you for that anyway looking back on it now if i truly had to um measure my pain level the entire experience days one through five let's put it at like a seven day six that was like an eight eight and a half eight eight and a half nine that was shitty day seven was more like a five since then and today it's like a two one just in the mornings it's annoying it feels dry it hurts like right now it's a little painful but like you can do a 2-1 you can run a marathon with a 2-1 cramps are 
like a 10 to me. Honestly, the pain never got to a 10. Except for there were like moments where the shooting pain to my ear would feel like a 10 for like five to 10 minutes and then it would go away. I didn't feel that like swallowing shattered glass feeling and like all those things that people talk about. That was not my experience with the tonsil welding procedure. Hats off to all you who went through that shit. That's not my lifestyle. There's no way that I could have gone through that. Yes, I took the bitch route. I recommend everybody else take the bitch route too because ain't nobody got time for shattered glass going down their throat, okay? Yeah, I guess it just depends on your pain tolerance, but I haven't had like a shitty experience with the pain um, and it's been manageable. By the way, this is with medication, not without. I've just been taking um, two Tylenol, 500 milligram every couple hours and I've been straight and I'm sure I lost a thousand pounds just because it's like hard to eat things, but I've been eating like mostly all carbs and it's been fantastic and I don't want to change it. <laughs> I'm like, is this what being vegan is like? Like a really shitty vegan? Just eat pasta? I can do that. That's it. And I will catch up with you guys in a month or so so you can see how I am fully recovered and changed and no longer living that strep life. I cannot believe that those days are behind me. Dr. Sigari said the chances of me getting strep again is like very slim. So I'm gonna take him up on all that because I cannot do this anymore. And I'm glad that I don't have to do this anymore. And I have zero regrets about this. And I would do it again. I don't wanna do it again, but <laughs> I would if I had to, to get the results that I'm looking for. I hope that for our, those of you who reached out and said like, you know, you've been having issues with getting an ENT to do the surgery for you. If you can fly out to California and go see Dr. Sigari, honey, you better make that appointment. If you can find somebody who does the same kind of procedure in your hometown, I strongly recommend it. You don't have to put yourself through the ringer to find relief. That's, it's crazy to think that, you know, that's the only way, cause it's not and you deserve to feel normal and healthy and not affected by tonsillitis anymore. It's gonna sound really fake deep for a lot of people who have never had strep throat before in their lives. <laughs> Anyways, gotta go get my Starbucks. Love you guys. Thanks for going through this journey with me. I hope we all learned a lot about each other. Oh, I pooped yesterday. That was another new development. It was like the smallest little poop, but it was just, very very happy to poop i've been so constipated and still constipated but that was that was exciting okay well and on that note bye